Okay, this is just a Zen F6 running on 2008 R2 as we can see here on the desktop. And what I'm showing here is ICA connection, server is located in Canada. I'm here in San Francisco, so basically across the country. And we are injecting a 3% packet loss. Of course, because of network conditions, we can see it goes higher than that. Sometimes, sometimes it goes a little bit lower, but on average, we are seeing 3% loss. So here I just have Notepad open, and I'm just going to move the window around. So 3% loss, this is what we see. We can see the window like jumps, doesn't follow really smoothly on the screen. So this is basically what you would see on VDI because using Zen Desktop because it's pretty much the same protocol and it is indeed the latest incarnation because this is again a Zen App 6 server. If I try to do, uh, let's say, well, before I go to the internet, let's take a look at typing. So I just finish it and it's still it's typing. So there is definitely a lag. But this one you need to see in person to see that I'm typing and the lag is there. Does it mean it's unusable? It's not unusable as you can see, it's decent, you know. Is it great? No, it's not. And the lag for certain applications, it will be a reason for complaining by users and maybe a showstopper for other applications. So now if we just go here and launch IE, I'll go to this YouTube video that has like a timeline so we can see what happens with 3% loss. So let's take a quick look. You may not hear anything because I'm recording what I'm saying and not necessarily the application sound, but let's, let's try. Well, the microphone will pick that up, so you can hear it's not that great. This is server-side rendering. But we can see it's, uh, again, it's just keeping like some frames. So not that great. Let's keep going because I want you guys to see the, the clock that shows up on the screen. Yeah. Audio is very choppy, like, and you can see the, the clock on the screen. It, it's jumpy. Okay, so I'm going to stop. I'll just do a pause here. Even to just pause the video was pretty bad. And now what we're going to do is I'm not going to even disconnect. I'll just ask Matt that is here with me. He's going to turn on our packet loss protection, our IPQ. And we're just going to launch the exact same thing. So as you can see, I'm not even disconnected. So now I'll just close Notepad. You want to save? No. And I'll launch it again. So now we have the protection on. So let's go notepad again and let's move the window around. You see way better. It's not as jumpy as before. This is again 3% loss and we are protecting the loss. So you can see how smooth it becomes. And I'm going to just type. Just finish it and boom, right there. So basically virtually no lag whatsoever typing. So now I'll go back to YouTube. Same video, same link. And I'll just run it again. Let's see what happens with the video. Again, this is not HDX redirection or anything. This is server side rendering. I don't know if you guys can hear, but the audio, the choppiness is pretty much gone so far. 
and the video, the response of ICA on the screen, like it's a brutal difference. And again, this is a 3% loss. So if you look now and what we had before, it's a big, big improvement. And we basically do this for anything, like uh, if it's ICA, RDP, or if it's a PC over IP, we can help any of these. You can see the watch, the clock going on, like much, much better. And keep in mind, we are across the US, connecting to Canada over the WAN, over whatever the hotel, the Marriott is providing as a connection. So this is definitely, definitely not the best case. And you can see the difference in performance. So basically that's it. If you guys want to take a look in person, just send me an email or send me a message on Twitter, CROD, you know, four letters, C-R-O-D. Or just stop by at, uh, you know, the Merit. Okay, guys.